if your ex pulled away from you within the scope of the relationship, does that mean for sure that they have an avoidant attachment style? No, it doesn't. Um, a lot of you guys are watching videos from breakup coaches and trying to analyze what happened between you and your partner and you're reading the book attached, which is good. Keep educating yourself. But it doesn't necessarily mean that your ex has an avoidant attachment style. For example, if your ex would communicate their thoughts and feelings to you and they did that on some kind of regular basis or semi-regular basis, that's very uncharacteristic of someone that's avoidant, somebody that doesn't want intimacy or at least is scared of it. What's more likely in this case to have happened is that your ex had some kind of flight or freeze stress response into, in response to something that was going on in their life. Okay, so maybe some kind of work stress or family stress or something that happened in their life. And somehow or another, at the end of the day, they just cut and run from the relationship just to get away from the stress. Now, if this is the case and your ex truly isn't, um, they don't have an avoidant attachment style, then what you need to do is start kind of looking at, well, how can I best pair up with somebody that has this particular stress response? And the other thing is, you know, if somebody is getting stressed out and they're, they're like, hey, something's got to change. We got to jettison some weight out of this boat. And you're the weight that gets jettisoned from the boat. It kind of tells you something about the value that you're bringing to, uh, to the table as a partner. Now, this isn't always going to be the case. Sometimes you're going to bring a lot of value to the table. And okay, that's not on you. But in many cases, you know, you got out of shape, you stopped doing the things that make you cool. Um, you started chasing your ex and kind of lowering your value in their eyes because you were doing the work for the both of you. The bottom line is if you're not the kind of girl that other guys want, or if you're not the kind of man that other girls want, then your ex is going to be in touch with that truth as well. And um, at the end of the day, if it takes more work to deal with your feelings, to you know, put up with uh, your request for reassurance or you know, whatever the, the work is in the relationship that that person has to put forward, okay, if that, take, if that takes more out of them than what they get from the relationship, you're going to be the weight, uh, the dead weight that gets thrown out of the boat. And this is just simply because their life is getting bogged down with stress. So this should be instructive to you. Be a good partner. All right. Sometimes being a good partner isn't doing all the work for the both of you. Okay. Sometimes being a good partner isn't like going over the top and buying flowers and scheduling all these dates and stuff and going over the top. Sometimes that's compensation for what you know is lacking elsewhere. So if you want to have a talk about your situation and get some advice on what to do next to reattract your ex, click into my profile, click this link down here and get in touch with me.